My name is Satish. I am the Chief Product Officer at Zagal. Uh, my remit here at Zagal is to drive the product vision, product strategy, product management, product engineering design, and the entire launch of the products that we deal with. Today I'm going to talk about the new product launch that we are launching here at Zagal. So uh, Zagal as an organization uh, has been a profitable business. It's a young fintech which has been uh, for the, in business for the last 10 years. We have a huge customer base in the B2B2C space, actively engaging with our app, cards, web app, uh, across business, uh, across industry, across the entire country. Uh, what we're doing uh, today, the products we have in the market are addressing the employee spends and sales and marketing spends. The unique proposition what Zagal brings to the table is not to solve a problem uh, in, a, in a kind of a bounded manner. We try to kind of make sure we solve the problem to see what are the jobs to be done, what are the customers trying to solve, how do we make it more holistic. So our card proposition combined with the software both on the mobile and the web makes the proposition very powerful. The third element, which is the new product that we are going to talk about today, is uh, Zoyer, a new offering, which is going to focus entirely on the business pen. By bringing business pen into the stack, what we are making the offering from Zagal is far more holistic. It's the entire spend management 360 from one stop shop, so to speak, from Zagal. From a client standpoint, the way we want to get to is that the entire expense spends, we become the single source of truth. And we would love to handle that for them. And so far, we've done a great job with the employee, and, employee spends and sales and marketing spends. And we'll, we'll have a similar experience with Zoya. So the business segments that you look at today in the market are, we have enterprises, we have corporates, we have uh, mid-markets, small, medium enterprise, MSMEs, and of course, startups. And each of them work in a very different style and pace. And, uh, if you look at enterprise and corporate as an example, uh, they have multitudes of applications. You have a separate corporate uh, contract system, you have a separate system for purchase orders, then you have for payables, and probably they use an uh, enterprise uh, ERP kind of a platform for those uh, requirements. And they also have a very uh, structured general ledger accounting platform. And of course, they are required for the size and scale in which they operate. Uh, but what are the challenges they face at that level at a corporate or enterprise is that Access to these informations are to be aggregated across from different systems. And uh, sometimes it makes life difficult because you need to talk to specialized users because these are uh, expensive applications. So you will have named users who are using these applications. So that puts a constraint on different decision makers to have access to the information in a consolidated manner. Uh, when you come to mid-market and SMEs, uh, they work with uh, probably a lesser set of applications, maybe something which is consolidated. But for them, they, their problem is more about one or two people running these applications for them, and maybe there are constraints in the way that they want to have those information access to. So the pattern that we see across is that typically the challenges they face are access to the right level of information uh, in a consolidated manner for them to take the right decision, uh, and being able to make those uh, crucial payments or fund management, so to speak, from a financial standpoint for the business to be making those right decisions. And it's not been that easy in our conversations. So how do we solve this problem, right? This is a large value chain. The source to pay, so, so to speak, what the industry or the big four calls is the largest value space that we are talking about. Are we going to solve the entire thing? No. We are like trying to focus on the invoice to pay part, which is the last segment of it, along with the vendor management or supplier management. And why the space at this point in time? Because that's where your financial transactions happens. And making sure you make the right uh, payment for the right vendor at the right time are crucial for business to run. And during pandemic, we've seen the impact on the chip, for example. So how do you make sure where your monies are spent, which has a higher impact to the outcome or business objective is what the problem is. So we started solving this. And uh, I think uh, there's more scope on the left for us to go further. But today we'll talk in detail about what this offering is. Mm -hmm. 
when you look at from a product perspective, how are you going to simplify for them? Your first take is how does their daily life look like? Suddenly, if you expect them to get into a very complex application with constrained box and process, it makes life difficult. So our approach at Zaggle has always been to see how we could simplify things for them. And uh, mobile first is a way to go. And mobile first, when we looked at it, we looked at some of the most prominent apps, how comfortably are people using, how do we bring that kind of an experience into it. And today's Zaggle app is already in our Play Store and App Store for the two other products in the both employee spends and business uh, and in sales and marketing spends. Downloaded, used today, uh, and it becomes a natural extension for us to add the new product offering into it. And our strategy has been to kind of simplify it on the app. Mobile first, digital is where we are heading to and we are solving it from a mobile standpoint. One of the critical elements that we looked at while designing Zoyer was to make it a data-driven product. Not that it's just a fad today. The fact is today, uh, for the kind of decisioning we are talking about in payments, which are critical for business, we wanted to leverage data, leverage intelligence out of data. And by data-driven, what we mean is that we started building our product from a data model-driven approach. What I mean by that? is that if it's an invoice, for example, what are the data sets that goes into the invoice? And if I break the data set into referential data, process data, and then consume data, data that we receive from other application, then broadly three sets. Um, there are various ways in which I can dissect it, but I'm just taking a simple example. So once we define the data model, then we know which are the information we need to store and capture for reference data, which are the data we need to process using algorithms and populate these data, which are the data we need to consume from other platform through APIs and other elements. So once you define the data model, then once you define the segmentation of the data, then the logic building part comes later. You build the algorithm, then you build the screens and the touch points for the user, both on the mobile and web. This makes the platform very powerful what are we trying to solve? Bringing quicker, faster agility for business to solve their problems. And with a platform that is data driven, you're going to get immense power to some of those decisioning. And it'll look so seamless. What we are starting off uh, in this area is fundamentally look at uh, descriptive and diagnostic data uh, elements. We are going to focus on what, what are the kind of spends are you doing? Why are those spends happening? I think if we are first stage, if we can solve that better, the platform will have more meaningful information for our users. And that's what Zoyer is going to be looking at from Zaggle. The third critical component is embedded finance. Zaggle is not new to cards, payments, financial products. We've been one of the leading players in prepaid with some of the best banking partners uh, in the market. And we have thousands of users who use our products on a day-to-day -day basis. With the embedded finance as an area for us, for Zoyer, becomes a very easy proposition because we've been already working on it. And if you look at business in the business spends part, we are talking about credit on one side, payments on the other side. Of course, and all the decisioning aspects are around it. So this makes us get stronger in our digital bank journey in terms of positioning. And why do I call it embedded finance here? We're talking two things here, you know, for those payments that needs to happen, what kind of credit, what kind of lien I can provide? How do I give access to this capital? What kind of instruments do I provide you as a user? And how easy can I facilitate those transactions to happen seamlessly? The idea is to make any payment out of the platform to look very ubiquitous. You don't think about it as long as you set it up once, system will know for different kinds of spends, different category, what payment instrument it has to use and how it needs to process. Of course, the level of complexity of the approval that you want to bring depending on the threshold, the kind of payments, the timing of the payments is something you could configure. And that's taken care by our very powerful uh, workflow system that we have. So that makes the proposition very powerful with the embedded finances and offering coming with it.
So what we have an offering in the embedded finance is we've been very strong in the prepaid space. Uh, we also have the founder's credit card now. Zoyer comes by default with a credit card. Of course, you have a choice to choose it. So with this, we are trying to make sure the offerings that we are giving to our market are far more comprehensive. And that makes a single shop, a single stop for our customers to look for anything to do with banking. So your payments are sorted, your credits are sorted, your options to pay in terms of instrument, be it a credit card, prepaid card, or other means of payments are sorted. Um, so why look for something else? When it comes to use case, we looked at various use cases in the space uh, uh, because business spends, different spends are happening. So we kind of segmented in two parts, uh, the high value, low volume spends, and uh, the other one was the tail spends. We wanted to primarily focus on the high value, low volume spends uh, and try to bring a lot of uh, control and process into it. And because we identified the personas who are going to be part of the system, it was easy to pick up what kind of uh, use case that we would want to pick up. So I'll take one example of a use case uh, that we will look at. This could be a project spend. Typically, a lot of projects happens in an organization. Uh, maybe uh, we'll look at uh, one such example. So typically a budget is given by the budget owner and is uh, the budget owner then is supposed to execute on it. In a normal scenario, sometimes these budget owners have to go repeatedly to their stakeholders or to the finance head to get those funds allocated. But in this structure, what happens is uh, you send your request through the platform. For the request, the budgets are cleared based on, uh, based on the prior approval. If the approvals have happened through email or WhatsApp, you could attach that as a support. Once the budgets are released, the budget owner then can further decentralize and uh, to his team members. There could be experts on different areas. They could further decentralize and allocate those budgets. And technically, you will budgets are released into a payment instrument, let's say a credit card, and then further the virtual credit cards could be issued to others. And you could also put certain restriction on which segment these spends should happen. And whenever the spends are happening, uh, you, the system will notify, let's say, the finance person, your uh, stakeholder who's running the program. So if, let's say, my boss is running the program and wants to see, okay, these guys are at 60% of the budget spend, but the pro progress on the project is only 50% or 40%, it becomes easy for them to review and track those. So these are stuff that we help do from the platform. So you define budgets, track them through the flow, bring stakeholders in, decentralize, give control. You know, there are some really exciting stuff that you could do with a platform. There's one such use case. There are many more that we could talk about. So Zaggle today has a huge customer base. Um, so our immediate focus is to go to our captive customer base uh, who have been happy with us, uh, get them to sign up to Zoyer, which is going to make the proposition complete. And uh, secondly, we're going to further enhance on uh, areas um, like the data element. We talked about the initial launches focusing on descriptive and diagnostic. How can I go into you know, more predictive and prescriptive as part of the offering? That's going to be the next thing that will come, which will give you a visibility of hey, this is how your year looks like, these are spike points, these are how you need to manage your cash, and we could probably even fund you on those and help you. From the embedded finance part, we will be adding more financial products, some of it through the platform, through a partnership, some of it could come from uh, homegrown and probably other inorganic ways as well, which we'll talk about later as we move forward. So there are various propositions that will get added on the embedded finance part of it. From a user standpoint, the idea is to continuously keep adding new use cases and um, you know, start seeing the pattern. So we'll start taking a lot of insights from the platform um, in terms of uh, what's happening, where are the bottlenecks, what are the typical SLAs that you would look at, we'll do that. We will also start building a global database of vendors uh, of course, with a consent, and that will give you an access to uh, some of the best of the breed offering that you would want to search through this platform. 
uh, makes life easier uh, to finding the right uh, components that you want, the right service you want from the platform. And uh, it'll probably also have aspects like, you know, rating a vendor from the network, likewise rating a corporate as well or an SME. So you would have a kind of a platform evolving out of it and, um, and that's going to be far more exciting for users in this platform. In addition, we are also looking at uh, automating the accounting part. So if you look at most of the finance people's challenge is that uh, their book closure, be it a month end or quarter end, becomes complicated because they're using multiple system. Uh, informations are not coming the way they want. So we would be kind of giving you a very simple double entry posting for every transaction that happens. So then this becomes expense, as long as expense in the general ledger chart of account is going to be, the master source is going to come from Zaggle Zoya. It becomes easy for accounting team to just take this and plug it into their general ledger platform. So that's something we are trying to solve to help reduce the book closure period, which is a big pain point. We're also trying to bring multilingual, multi-currency platform because this is going to obviously grow into other markets. And uh, the intent is to make sure that the platform is serving multi-dimension multi uh, customer base in this area. Um, in terms of payments, that will translate further to bringing in cross-border, cross-currency, currency hedging aspects like those, which we will try to automate as part of the progress. And I, I'm sure you'll hear more about this as we move on. We have a very robust roadmap. Uh, we follow a very structured roadmap methodology within Zaggle. We always have a rolling 12-month roadmap at any point in time. Uh, our sales and marketing are privy to this, what's coming in the next three months. Some of our close customers get a visibility on that as well, uh, with we, whom with whom we kind of bounce it. Uh, and of course, we keep a constant tab on uh, regulations and compliance that we need to be uh, in the space that we operate on. So that keeps us on top of it. So that way you're on safe hands working with us and I'm sure uh, all the new things that have been thought through are stuff that will make life uh, super easy for you guys and that's what we strive to be uh, as an organization and Zaggle's primary focus is to help simplify things. Simplify payable, that's Zoya for you.